Hey guys, welcome to the first edition of the weekly CNFT brew where I do a roundup of everything that's been going on in the Cardano NFT scene and look forward to some of the most exciting drops happening this week. Let's go. So this weekly CNFT roundup comes out every Monday along with my CNFT Brew newsletter. Link in the description if you want to get it straight to your inbox. But before I dive in, please consider giving the video a like and the channel a subscribe. I would really appreciate it. All right, so I'm going to start with looking at some of the highlights of the week. If you just want to see the upcoming uh, drops that I'm excited about, go ahead and check out the timestamp in the description or the different chapter here in the video itself. First thing to mention is that the Ada Apes Society is just taking over. I was really surprised by how much this project took off. We even saw a 100k sale, which I still can't quite believe happened. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe this set a record for the amount of volume on the secondary market for the first seven days after mint. So crazy volume. Um, the floor peaked at around 700 ADA, has been dropping a little bit since then. It's a 7K collection and it really taps into that, you know, DAO craze that we're seeing. Uh, it's planning on becoming a community DAO and people are really excited about the art. Yes, it's another A project, but at least the art is unique and people seem to be generally excited about the roadmap. Next, I want to talk about Derp Birds. Pretty big week for the Derps. First, they announced a collaboration or a partnership with Cornucopias. I believe it's mostly a technological partnership, so they're going to be helping them with their minting. Hopefully, we'll see a smooth multi-sig transaction drop. Now, another interesting thing that's been happening in the Derp community is this new project called Drapes or Derp Apes. It's basically the Derp Bird community's uh, take on an ape project. And it's kind of cool. I'm not going to lie. I... I'm looking to get one. I believe today they open up Mint again, 6K left in the vending machine. Uh, they had some issues. They are also using this as an opportunity to test their minting system. They ran into some issues, but you know, that's what this is for. So now you must have been living under a rock if you haven't noticed all the space buds talk. The floor has risen almost 2K just since last week. What's even more impressive to me is that SpaceBuds Marketplace is actually outperforming CNFT.io, almost doing double the volume. So if you got a SpaceBud, congrats, you must be feeling pretty good. Another interesting thing that we saw on Twitter this week was Sunday Swap being sued by Cardstarter. It's a whole dispute going on between the two DEXs. I'm not going to really get into it. I'm going to let the court settle this, uh, but it's kind of making me a little bit less excited about Sunday Swap. It's a legitimate lawsuit being filed by a very reputable company. So this is another thing you probably noticed all over Twitter if you're into CNFTs is, did you know that Cardano has NFTs? I feel like every week we have a meme tweet in the CNFT space and this week it was, did you know Cardano has NFTs? So last week we have had a lot of exciting drops in my opinion. I missed out on some of them. Hopefully you didn't, but I was happy to get in on some other ones. So we had the eight apes, obviously we talked about them. Rebellion, OG bears, Grumpy Bunny, Paper Tonia, Rats, Daos now sold all of their membership tokens. Huge mint there. Anna is a traditional artist. Project 2090 people are excited about. Cypher Kicks and Baby Alien Club collab sold out. And the Wizards, kind of like out of nowhere, the Wizards sold out and are doing really well when looking at volume. You guys might know that I'm a big Hype Skull fan. So Vapor, has officially been given a date. It's going to be this Wednesday at 8 p.m. UTC. I cannot wait. If you don't know what it is, check it out. This project is actually kind of historic in many different ways. Here's just another example. It's going to be the first smart contract based mint. Now, a project that I'm excited about, we don't know when mint is going to be yet, is FUD Buddies. Now, FUD Buddies was created by Jack, DJ and Crypto Club. Uh, Death Squad Lewis and Universe 25 Max actually accidentally covered the opening of the Discord live on my stream last week. I hope you were there because it was just crazy. Check it out if you haven't. Cardano Thor on Twitch. All three creators actually ended up jumping into the chat with me and gave us a little uh, sneak preview as well, which was really awesome. 
So not only am I just really big on this team and the artwork by Lewis, but FUD is spreading really fast and people are getting really excited. We have, I think, almost 7K uh, members in Discord right now. Secret Goat Society, this is another investment club, if you will more than a DAO. So the public mint hasn't started yet. I believe you need to reach a certain level in their Discord, but they have opened up their Discord to the public right now. And if you're a goat holder, you can get further access in the Discord. So go check that out. NFT Maker dropped their official white paper and they introduced, interestingly enough, their ecosystem token, NMKR. Next, we had Pavia announcing a gallery integration or partnership with Cardano Forms. Uh, this is a project that I've actually been aware of for a while, a generative art project. I actually minted one of these, but now they are collaborating with Pavia, uh, building 3D galleries that people are going to be hopefully having access to in the metaverse. Looks really good to me, to be honest. Another thing that I found interesting was this story about Nike filing a lawsuit against StockX. It's another company, a sneaker company, that's been issue or creating these NFTs that are using trademarked branding in their NFTs and then selling those NFTs. And now Nike is suing them. And I think this could set a very important precedent in the NFT space. Obviously, there are some projects in the Cardano NFT scene that come to mind when reading this story. So that sums up this past week in CNFTs, but let's look at some of the most exciting drops happening this upcoming week. First of all, Ada Ninjas is minting right now. Last time I checked, let's check again, 86.54 minted at the time of recording. Maybe they're sold out by the time this comes out, but check it out if you're a fan of Ada Ninjas. Aeonium Sky was delayed by 24 hours. If you're a fan, you already know this, but now it's set for tonight at 10 p.m. UTC. So in a couple of hours, again, might have already happened by the time this comes out. Disco Solaris. This is probably one of the most hyped up projects that is dropping this week. People seem to really like the art style. It's tapping into the this retro and dystopian uh, style that a lot of people in NFTs seem to like myself included. Hopefully this video comes out today on a Monday, but it is on Tuesday at 5 p.m. UTC for the whitelist and a couple hours later for the public. I am not on the whitelist, so hopefully there will be some remaining. I'm not so sure if there will be 5,777, but there are like 10,000 people in the Discord. So I'm not that hopeful. 55 ADA. Papertopia or Paper Society, they already dropped their first 5,000 successfully sold out. People really like the art. I got a couple of these. I just really like the look of them. I think they're unique. Check that uniqueness box for me. So I got a couple of this drop and I might get a couple of more. Now I've already mentioned Vapor and how excited I am for that. I think it's gonna be an incredibly unique and historic drop. There are gonna be over 30 different Vapor types. You will get two if you're a holder of an Origin series skull you can claim two vapors for free here on the site with a wallet integration you can see uh, that i have integrated right here with my identity token that is going to be on wednesday at 10 p.m utc and now what you do with a vapor is up to you you can sell it on the secondary market or you can just do nothing with it or you can use it to vaporize your skull for starting at 70 ada and then increasing 10 ada for every 100 vaporized skulls drapes or derp apes the mint should resume tomorrow so set an alarm or a reminder for tomorrow at 10 p.m utc 32 ada each and you can send for up to 10 nfts in one transaction now project dropping on wednesday future bot by future fest i think is going a little bit under the radar it's a benjamin group partner and they're developing a really cool experience platform for the music industry for virtual music events and they already have a working product i have seen a little bit from it it looks pretty awesome so compared to some other projects that are not nearly this far into development i think this could be an exciting drop to get in on they're being a little bit uh, slept on right now Org Club is going to be dropping their Corrupted Chips. This is an NFT that you can burn along with your original Borg 
to create a corrupted Borg. So basically, just like Vapor, it's a way to uh, mutate your NFT. Although with Vapor, it's worth mentioning that you will keep your original skull. There'll be 5,000 of these tokens, 98 at each, February 9th, this Wednesday at 6 p.m. UTC. Now, The Good Charles is not a project that I would necessarily be excited about. The artwork isn't really for me. It's not my style. The Charles Hoskinson NFT has kind of been done before. I will say their mission, their concept, using the Kiva platform to basically finance those that really need it, uh, low-income people around the world. I think it's really cool. We've seen Charles himself use this platform. I know that he would approve. Lastly, if you have a special someone in your life, why not take a look at the Gingerbread Squad Holidays Valentine's Day drop. Most of this collection will be airdropped to holders, but they're gonna be around 375 available for only 26 ADA, which I think is very cheap for the quality. You guys know that I'm a fan of Phenam. I'm a fan of this project. It's a community-led project. It's probably the biggest resurrection project in CNFT history. That's it for the CNFT Weekly Brew Roundup. If you are interested in reading the full newsletter, again, link in the description. I have market analysis, some interesting artists in the space, an undervalued, underrated section, and my personal thoughts. If you found any value in this video and you would like me to continue to make these sort of videos, please give the video a like and subscribe. Yeah, let me know that you watched by commenting which project you were looking forward to the most in the comments. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you here next Monday.